Hey guys, so as promised, this is the video where I show you how to make holy water and tell you about buster rounds. Okay, so first off, holy water. You're going to need a few different things. First off, you're going to need a liquid container. In this case, it's like a simple bottle. Water. Um, and pure the water, the better. Um, bless salt. And then this is just a nice touch, but throwing in a rosary really does um, give it that extra kick. I feel like Martha Stewart. So, <laughs> um, first things first, you want to fill this with water. Okay. A little bit. All right. So you want to fill this with water, which it already is. Ooh, water. Ah. I'll just show you a little bit. Oh god. Oh god. I'm spilling it everywhere. I'm crazy. Okay. So, we have our water. Now, water is viewed in a lot of different uh, cultures as very um, a pure thing and something that um, carries, um, and I mean that like it carries energy, it carries the souls to the afterlife. It's sort of like um, a universal um, conductor or like lubricant or something like a universal spiritual thingy. <laughs> yeah, God, my hair looks horrible. horrible. Okay, so, um, I'm taking a few grains of blessed salt, okay? This is like big pieces of rock salt. Ugh. Anyway, um, you do that, you take your water, and you put the salt in there. Um, it can dissolve over time unless you're, uh, you need the, um, the holy water really quick, otherwise I would suggest shaking it up. But okay, so you have your holy water, and then you say a prayer over it, you know, something like, um, Oh Lord God, bless this water, make it a tool for us in our most darkest hour, yada, yada, yada. I've already, this is already holy water, so. Okay, and then a good thing to do is place this, which is a rosary, into your holy water, or... Yeah, I guess you can call it holy water now. And then, um, if you want to recite the uh, one of the prayers in the Book of Solomon, he tells you to uh, say a whole bunch of psalms. It's much easier than that. Um, but yeah, you basically just, uh, Oh God, who art the truth and the life, deemed to bless and sanctify this creature of water, to serve unto us for help and assistance in this art experiment and operation, and may it be secure unto us. Okay, then you may take out your rosary, which is now dripping, wonderful, and close up your holy water, and now you have holy water. I have literally gallons and gallons and gallons of holy water. You know those big, uh, you know those things that they have for um, water coolers, like those like big blue uh, tanks? I have like two of those full of holy water. You never have enough holy water. So with that said, now, sorry, I'm opening this thing up. Um, it's time to show you. First off, these are silver rounds, um, and they are awesome, but they're really difficult to make. Anyway, well, not really difficult, just expensive. Um, where are those? Oh. Let's tell you about this, okay? Now, just like a normal shotgun round. If you actually look, there's a little bit of stuff in there. But that's what I like to call a buster round. Um, now, first off, you will definitely need to clean whatever shotgun you are firing this out of afterwards. But it contains um, hyssop, wormwood, a whole lot of good stuff. Oh, that's the other thing, by the way. If you want to put like a drop or two of hyssop oil in the holy water, it does wonders. But anyway, so it's hyssop, wormwood, a few other you know ingredients. Um, basically, just like the pure herbs, you know, like you can look that stuff up on like just about any place to say like these are the best. Um, Lily of the Valley, like all kinds of good stuff. Um, you put it into a shotgun shell, pack it in, and you want to make it really, really dense, okay? And then you put it into your shotgun, and let's say you're um, hunting a hellhound, because it's usually what it works best against, because they're very smell-oriented. You blast this thing and anything evil, it will go away. It is literally like like evil mace <laughs> or holy mace or I don't even know um, it is just it is wonderful stuff I have like five rounds left because I've been using it so much lately but 
Oh, it is wonderful. Wonderful. Anyway. Alrighty, guys. Well, with that, sorry, with that in mind, um, I'm going to call it a night. But one quick piece of advice. You can never have enough chalk. Alright? <laughs> good night, good hunting, and all that other good stuff.